What is going on YouTube? Thank you for stopping by for another Geeky Gecko Creations video. In this video, we're going to talk about can more than one leopard gecko dad father one clutch of eggs? Selling in the billions each year, Rainbow Mealworms is your one-stop shop for all your insect needs. Their quality feeders and A-plus customer service keep me coming back to support the health and growth of all of our animals. Visit them today at rainbowmealworms.net to place your order. Okay, so spoiler alert, the answer to that question is yes. In ball pythons, this has been proven time and time again because it's common for ball python breeders to breed more than one dad to one female during the season. Now let me give you a little bit of backstory and history as to why one of our girls was bred to two different males in her season. I don't make it a typical practice to breed one girl to two different males. So leopard geckos lay two eggs. Each of those eggs can only be fathered by one male and usually you wanna pick the best quality male to father the babies. But in some rare instances where females reject males or females don't get enough sperm from one male, a lot of ball python breeders have used secondary males to input the sperm into the female to make sure that that female lays something at least rather than nothing. My cousin had an adult female super snow in his possession. This is her right here. Look at that. Beautiful geckos, the super snows. Just a beautiful black and white contrast. This girl was living with a young male that was thought to not be old enough to breed. However, apparently he was old enough to breed because he fathered some of her babies. She started laying infertile eggs for him over there. And so I said, well, let me take her. We got the black knight male. Let's try to put the black knight male sperm inside of her and see if we could create some 50% black knight babies. So she came over here, she settled in, and she was bred almost immediately to this black knight male right here. Within the first two weeks, we were able to get one fertile egg out of her. We incubated that egg, it hatched, it turned out to be a super snow. Now the male that she was housed with, remember, was a super snow male. So a super snow male times a super snow female is gonna produce 100% super snow babies. And that's what happened. The first clutch was one egg and the baby was a super snow. That baby was sold so we no longer have it. But the second clutch is exactly what I was hoping for. The male black knight sperm fathered the entire second clutch. So I'm gonna show you those babies now. Okay, so here we have one of the babies that was fathered by the pure black knight male that I was just referring to. It has a beautiful circle pattern on its back, which is exactly what we wanted to do with Black Knights. We wanted to bring in circle patterns and try to fill the black all around it to see if we could create these nice patches of circles in the geckos. If we could do that, we might call it like the Sailor Moon Project or something like that. I actually don't know if it can be done. In my head, I'm thinking it probably can't be done, but if we always stopped at probably can't, we would have never made it to the moon, nor had our first human mission planned to Mars. That's a whole nother story. But anyway, my point is, if we stop when things get difficult or confusing, we'll never find out the true possibilities of what can and cannot exist. So as you can see, this is definitely not a super snow leopard gecko. It's a single copy snow leopard gecko, which kind of gives it that faded out yellow appearance a little bit. Beautiful black ring around the top of that. We're definitely gonna be breeding this girl. Good thing about black knight crosses, they grow so fast, it's crazy. Even our black knight pure babies are, are growing pretty good and I'm happy about that. The pure ones tend to hatch out a little bit smaller and grow a little bit slower than the crosses. So it's really great to get black knight crosses and then introduce pure genetics to that animal later on in life. So getting back to the story at hand, our pure black knight male bred with this pure super snow girl and her second clutch of babies was two babies that look just like this. Both babies are single copy snow geckos with dark black knight genetics implemented in there. Now the third clutch is proof of exactly what this whole video is about. That more than one dad, when it comes to reptiles, 
and specifically in this video, leopard geckos can father a single clutch of leopard gecko eggs. This is clutch number three of what happened with the Black Knight to Super Snow pairing that we made this year with that one girl. You can definitely see that one of these is a super snow. The only way to get a super snow is to have two copies of the snow gene, which means that the first father, which was a super snow, which should make 100% super snow babies, fathered this child. Except the female also contained the sperm of the black knight male now, and so therefore some of the black knight male sperm fertilized this egg, and this baby hatched out as a 50% black knight snow. And look, you can see the perfect ring light in its eye. That's pretty cool. That's not what its eye looks like. It's just that I got this new ring light set up. Shout out to all you guys who, who have been purchasing geckos from us, donating to our super chats, contributing to our company, watching our videos, liking our videos. That all helped me spend the $40 it took to get this ring light. I just say 40 because it's like super, super uh, inexpensive, which was really surprising for the quality of this ring light. It kind of washes out the geckos a little bit as I get closer. So that's why I'm not getting super close. But that was the point of this video, to show that this gecko was fertilized by the black night male, and this gecko was fertilized by the super snow male. Okay, now you might ask, how can that be? Or why is that, Frank? Reptile females have something called an ova duct. Think of it as like a little reproductive circle inside of their body. That reproductive circle stores sperm inside of it all year long for breeding season, and it draws sperm from that little oviduct circle and it fertilizes the eggs that are inside of the female's reproductive system every time she ovulates, which is why it's so important to look for ovulations in female leopard geckos. That lets you know they're ready to rock and roll. So if a female has sperm inside of her, but no ovulations, that means she's not producing eggs, but the sperm is inside of her to produce those eggs. Technically, female leopard geckos only need to breed once to contain enough sperm to last them for the full season, but it is good practice to breed a female more than once to make sure that she has a lot of sperm inside of her to fertilize all those eggs and give you the best chances for fertile success. You can also see the ring light in his eyes a little bit. Super cool. This ring light is really, really bright. It even like washes out the gecko's color a little bit. Like he's way darker in person. But the light is really cool. It illuminates the picture so the picture looks better quality. Man, he is just a beautiful, beautiful Black Knight male. Love this guy. He's fathered a whole bunch of babies for us this year. So anyway, getting back to my point, I will breed one female to the same male two, three, four times a year sometimes just to make sure she's got enough sperm inside of her. But that's a whole nother video that I will talk about that. For the purposes of this video, I simply wanted to show demonstration that when a female leopard gecko's oviduct has sperm inside of it, it can contain sperm from the year prior. It can contain sperm from one male that it bred with earlier in the year. It can contain sperm from another male that she bred with, even a third, fourth, fifth male. She can contain all that sperm inside of her oviduct and then uses that sperm to fertilize each and every egg. Now remember those two babies I showed earlier, they were laid at exactly the same time. They were the third clutch of this girl, which means that when one ovulation was turning into an egg, it took the sperm from the super snow male. And when the other ovulation was formulating the egg inside of her body, it took the sperm from this black knight male. Showing that it is possible for leopard geckos to draw from more than one sperm source inside of the female if she's been bred to more than one male. All right guys, well, what did you think about this video? Was it educational? Was it helpful? Do you have other topics that you would like for us to talk about? Please mention it in a comment below. Again, we're growing very rapidly and very fast on this channel. I really appreciate that. And you know why that is? Because you're watching our videos, but also because you're liking and commenting on our videos. So please, Take a second to do that for us if you can. We really appreciate it. It's kind of a free way that you can help us out. Tune in to our channel on Monday nights at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time for our live live stream sessions where you can ask us questions, you can ask to see any gecko you want, and we will spend an hour to two hours talking about everything geckos and reptile related. So thank you once again, guys. I appreciate you guys so much. Your love and support really means a lot. I will see you in the next video. And until then, have a geeky gecko great day.